Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the Loch Ness Box Mod. This is our 150 watt dual battery device. We're going to be running through the chip menu system so that way you can be putting this device to its full potential. Let's get started. Okay guys, we have our Loch Ness right here. To open it, just slide the top like that. It comes with the USB cable and a mod. First thing you're going to want to do is insert the batteries. Make sure you have a paired set. I'm using VTCs. Negative side up on that one, positive side up on the other. And that is set 250 watts currently. That's what I was using it at. It goes all the way down to 5 watts. I have my uh, wattage locked. To do that, fire button and up button will lock the wattage. And then if you want to set the resistance, hold the up and down button. Um, to go into the menu is three clicks. And here you have wattage and then all your temp control. Under temp control you have stainless, titanium, nickel, tungsten, TFR and TCR, which we will talk about on a later video, um, and system. So in system you can turn your screen left mode, right mode, you can turn your stealth on, which will make your screen go black, and you can turn your stealth mode off, which is normal. Under temp control, you have your wires, SS304, 316, or 317, depending on um, what wire you're using. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do anytime you enter temp mode is you're gonna wanna set your resistance. Right now, I don't have a coil on there, so it's reading zero ohms, but um, make sure your atomizer is at room temperature, it's not super hot, you didn't just fire it, or it's not freezing cold. Um, to get out of temp, three clicks, wattage, and then I'm going to turn down the wattage for this next part. 75 watts, okay. So next thing you're going to want to do is go into the advanced settings, and to do that you're going to hold the down, the up, and the fire. Oops. And in here we have boost. So right now, the max boost that you can do is 56 watts. And that's 56 watts on top of the 75 watts that we're already running. Um, it only allows you to boost up to 75% of your current set wattage. So that way if you're vaping at 75 watts with a 56 watt boost, and then you drop your um, wattage down to 30 watts, and you still have a 50 watt boost, you don't fry your coils, so it'll drop it down to 75% um, above the set wattage. So to do that again, hold down all three, and see your boost is now set at 27. Um, the next thing is how many seconds it's gonna boost for one second, and you can go all the way up to three seconds, and all the way down to zero seconds. Next is smooth mode. And you can set that all the way up to six seconds. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna vape normal for six seconds, or five seconds, or however you have it set, and then it's gonna put it in a smooth mode so you don't fry your coils if you're vaping at high wattages. The next is the curve mode. Now this is crazy, but you can set your wattage for 10 seconds. So if you are having trouble with your device, it doesn't fire right away, it's not very responsive, you can set it to 133 watts for the first second, maybe 85 the second second, and then you know however you wanna do it. You can go up and down, and then once you reach the top, it'll reset. To exit out of that, we're just gonna go back to normal. One thing I forgot to mention, um, when you are in temp control, three clicks will go, let's say we're using stainless 304, um, you can adjust the wattage or sorry, not the wattage, you can adjust the temperature with the up-down buttons. If you want to adjust the wattage while you're in temp mode, hit the fire, 
it's the down button and the fire button. You gotta push the down button first. So right now we're at 80 watts. Now I can adjust the wattage and then one click. So you gotta hold the down button first and then the fire and that'll change power. Holding the up and the fire button is going to lock your resistance. Like I said before, you're gonna wanna do that with every single Addy while it's at room temperature before you fire it. If you do happen to fire it before you lock the wattage, make sure and let it cool off to room temperature. Um, another cool feature, hold all three buttons to get into the advanced settings. When you are in temp control, <clears throat> sorry, I accidentally clicked boost. You can do dry sensing, and this is gonna sense when your uh, coils, when your wick gets dry, so it won't let you fry your cotton. You have your temp compensation. And that's it for that. So some cool extra features um, in there, uh, just in case you wanna super customize it. But uh, dry sensing is actually really awesome. If you guys haven't had a chance to try it, I would highly recommend that. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching, guys.